device and sure up close and personal and you're probably a story important character more or less Let's hit. Nope, oh, okay, didn't work. Uh... The Paralytic Wave didn't hit. Let's save those magic points then. Will that hit a friendly? Yes, it does. Okay, so let's back out of that then. Just move up and hold my position and recharge my man. Oh, I got the Beastmaster spe um, mark so I can get that class now. Lovely, are you just gonna stand there though, or are you gonna kinda make your way to nope, you're just gonna hang out. Have fun with that then. Shot. But actually, I've got finishing moves now, so you know what? Actually, I'm move here for now. One night to another.
Why have a clear shot? What? I was not fated to die here. Not to you. Oh. Sorry, you died here. And the rest of the troops withdrew. Alright. Ragworms Mark, too. So, assuming that's for the uh, dragon. Let me recruit a dragon. I think it's level six is what I need to get the, to equip the new sword. Without your aid, I never would have escaped with my life. Thank you. I'm a Sistina, a warrior in the Liberation Front. I was scouting the Galgastani in preparation for a raid on their stores when they spotted me. Liberation Front? Partisan zealots. A lot of them. Nothing but trouble. Vice, you literally have no room to talk. Also, obligatory Monty Python re reference. Split us! I always, always thought it was two sides of the same coin. He is a backroom traditionalist, a group loyal to the late King Dorgala, the ruler. I heard of them. Not all backroom will support the current regime, after all. Their goals are lofty enough, but their deeds border on butchery. To risk their lives, a soldier innocent alike with their subversion means we're unworthy of their end. Basically, their their just their argument they're making is the Liberation Front is a. For lack of a better, a terrorist is like they're they're painting them as sort of terrorist, um, or at the very least a not a irregular a paramilitary group, not with uniforms or that sort of thing, as opposed to the resistance, which has uniforms and fights like a conventional military and that sort of thing. It was wrong. These are lies spread by Branton. We only return to better times and a man's race and beliefs could not discredit him. Can't argue with that. The times don't make me laugh. Good enough for those with luck to be born backroom. But we lived then as we do now. Instacks beneath the boots of our betters. I see. Then tell me, why is it that you fight? Okay. notes on what it does if we so the note does if we which ones we suggest so I'm going to argue for securing a future for the Wallister at least for present not, not just peace in general um a more like have a more specific goal we must build a country of our own if our people are to have any future your words echo Branton's own you speak of your country your people but you care only for yourselves well the thing is based on the narrative we've gotten though so far in the story is the Wallister population has been a discriminated and oppressed minority for a very considerable period of time, whereas the group that Sistina is part of has, is currently a persecuted minority, but had previously been in the position of power. 
um, and security, yeah, power and privilege. And so this, this puts them at a different situation. Use compromise, turn your back on cooperation. What selfish creed? Like, I'm okay. Like, I would be okay with cooperating. Like, I'm, if given the narrative choice, I would argue for cooperation. Um, so that once we had defeated our common enemy, we would have a situation where we could have a uh, or we could have, have be in a position to create a independent Wallister state or at the very least have an end to discrimination against the wall and oppression of the Wallister because we've done our part though that said I also recognize that history is full of situations where Oppressed populations have fought with, have allied themselves with forces who are on the, who are currently on the back foot, but previously had treated them badly themselves um, against a common enemy in the hopes of getting a place at the table, only to be denied it. Um, see, for example, the Kurds in, in Iraqi Kurdistan and what they're facing in turn with problems with Turkey. Are your motives so pure? I find the stench of backroom dogs difficult to tell apart. Shut up, Vice. No, Vice. Such talk leads us nowhere. Thank you, Leonar. Free to go, Sistina, but you must leave, quit this place at once. Darfai land our fight the backroom are not welcome here as you wish we will, will not stop until the world is made fair and just one day you will open your eyes well again from the historical notes we've gotten so far the backroom were in a position of, of power and privilege the Wallister weren't. We'll see that only by putting aside vain desires can we usher in an, area, an era of true peace. Go now and do not return. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider packing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that. 